Hi guys, welcome back to Basic Kitchen Skills 2011. Uh, today, just something different is about books because a lot of people have been calling me and sending me email about which kind of book you need in the kitchen, which is a good question. I mean, it's a basic, or what you need. You need a practical cookery book. That is any catering school, they still do that. It's with David Foskett. I mean, David Foskett's still alive. He's in, you used to call it Thomas Valley University in Ealing. Now he's West. University, they call it West London University. He's still there teaching, which is a good guy, which I spent myself, I've been there three years with him, which is a good guy. I mean, that's one of his book, practical copy, easy. It's easy to follow, easy recipe, easy everything. There's another one, they call it advanced, which does, it just come from that. It's advanced, it's like, uh, that's the advanced practical cookery. It's easy to understand, easy recipes, easy to give you anything you want. It is all, it's like this book is all reference. You want to get back to them if you don't understand something. That's one. There's another one if you want to, it costs about 60 pounds. Yeah, that is about 60 pounds. That's Larus. That Larus is a big dictionary. Anything you need, anything you need to know about the kitchen or any word, any recipe, that's the big one. That's Larus. It give you a classic French recipe as well, which is a good book. There is. <laughs> There's Le Repertoire. That's is a similar. This one is a dictionary. It's a dictionary as well. It's like a small version from these Larus. Yeah, it's just from the Repertoire de la Cuisine. It's a small version from Larus, which is a good book to have it. Good book. There's another one which is really, 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 really helpful. They call it ebook. Okay? You can download from the internet properly you buy it. Ebook which give you anything, because if you go any box, for example, you buy any frozen things, always there is E150, E600, e, just to give you all the names, E100, maybe flour, E150 is nuts, to give you, if you start, for example, the guest say, oh, I'm allergic, nuts, okay, let's see, this box, you got E16, go and check it, just to make sure, which is good for your future as well, that is a good book, that's, yeah, there is another one which you call it the ladder, the ladder. That's the ladder chef. You got anything you want as well. It's easy to give you like how you cut all the meat, all the kind of fish you got, how you set your ladder section, how you set your puffy, how you, the name of cut of beef, lamb, the carcass, for example, is a good one to have it. Yeah, if you're not sure, for example, you got a question from your chefs. Oh, from where they come fill it? Oh, yeah, okay, you fill it steaks. They come between a ribeye and cinnamon steaks. From where he come, you show him. That's all design. When you even how much you cut the cut, when you get when you get the beef and you cut it, it is a good good one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, let's see now. We got okay. There is another one which you call it. I call it your favorite chef. Probably you want to buy. I don't know your favorite chef. Probably Gordon Ramsay or Johnny. I don't know. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Oliver or I don't know, Gary Rose or any of these celebrity chef, you might want one book for them to check it because that's up to you. Yeah, okay. There is another book which I find it really, really, believe me. That's, that's, that's the book. They call it A Science of Cooking. Okay? That's, I read this book about four, five, six times. Can you imagine? I read this book about five, six times, which, which I'm telling you. This guy who wrote this book is not even a chef, he's a science, he's a, uh, he's a physician, yeah? Okay, he's a physician, and when he wrote this book, he tried to make it very, very simple, very, I'm telling you, it's very, very simple. He tried to word, the word it, imagine a guy scientist, and he's just by curiosity, he wants to narrow about cookery. And in the end of any ch chapter, when he finish any chapter, he give you some exercise to do and try some things, I don't know, get the eggs and roast the eggs or something like that. It's a really, really interesting book. If you've got time and you want to read it, I'm not saying I'll buy it and keep it in the shelves. Yeah, if you try and read, it's a good book. I believe that's all the book you need. Yeah, if you get practical, if you don't have practical, you might get the advanced. Like I said, it's a good book. Always is a reference to get back to it. Larus, if you've got 60 pounds to spend, that's good. If you don't have, just get a reparatoire, get the small one. Uh, what's that? The Lava Chef, that's, that's our ticket. That's, we call it 
my right hand, because that's everything I need is here. Believe me, it's a good book. It's a really good book. Science, just like if I want to subjects to understand about cooking, because it give you it give you a lot of stuff. I don't know. You got pasta, and martin. You got a lot, a lot of work. We give you why this, why the soup bubble, why the foam, the difference between the foam and the bubbles. It's really, really, really advanced stuff. But it's good, good, good. Give it anything you want. Okay. I believe that's the all the book you need. I'd like your favorite chair because I'm gonna don't buy any favorite chair or something to just to read it. I hope I cover this book because a lot of people have been asking me to cover this section. I hope I cover all I need five, six books in the kitchen there as a reference get back to them. Job done. Thank you very much and uh, I'll catch you on the next video.